conversation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you... Vlad, what the fuck is you talking about, Vlad? I, I don't know. You know what I mean? I could, so we talking and shit? You feel me? Vlad, like... Yeah, so uh, if you saw the guys who shot at you, you think you'd shoot them down? Vlad, what the fuck is you talking about, Vlad? What you talking about, Vlad? See, that's what I'm once, you, once the person that you're talking to say some weird shit, now it's a different conversation. Whoa, 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 what you talking about? You get what I'm saying? Like, well, I could talk to a person that's not the same. Why? Oh, you say some funny shit. It's whole, whole. Like, why? You know what I mean? He just have a smooth transition into the cop question. That's what niggas don't understand. That's that's how, let me break down Vlad for you. He is not a cop. He does not work for the police department. But they will and do use his information. It's on YouTube. So all he got to do is ask the proper questions that they could bring up in a court of law. Duh. That's it. He said right here on Vlad TV. So so what Vlad is going to do is he's going to sprinkle your questions with glitter. That's the icing. It's really about the cake. He's going to put icing and sprinkles on your shit so you don't know. You're like, oh, it's a cake. Let me eat. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, yeah, so where are you from? Uh, how's it out there living in Brooklyn? That's the sprinkles, that's the ice. And you're like, all right, this nigga, oh, yeah, you got shot once. Yeah, I got shot, man, them niggas caught me slipping. Then he go back. So what's it like living in Brooklyn? So you're not really paying attention, you feel me? You eating the cake right now, you just talking. You know what I mean? Then he started, then he's slipping a quick little... I mean, you have your gun with you? You know, us rappers gotta keep your gun with you. Yeah, I have my gun with you, you know me, I'm on my... Indictment one, possession of a weapon. Possession of a weapon. But then he gonna clean it back up, he gonna go backwards. I mean, it's tough in them streets of Brooklyn, you know, so I, I can understand why you have a gun. And listen, one of my things, like my eighth grade yearbook says rapper. Like, you know, since I was little, I wanted to change his feature. I swear to God, I'm Since I was little, I said the day I am going to one day be a good enough rapper that I can get on Vlad TV and tell him he rap. And tell him he's a red. Red. How you don't know that? How you don't know that, Vlad? Going to one day be a good enough rapper that I can get on Vlad TV and tell him he's a red. And tell him he's a red. Inshallah, we beat that, so, you know, we can talk about 
about anything that's been beat, we beat that. Came on, I just came on from a shoot, and I know the system, bro. I know the system. Y'all can't tweak me. Y'all can't tweak me. Can't, can't tweak me. That's been beat, we beat that. Came on, I just came on from a shoot, and I know the system, bro. I know the system. Y'all can't tweak me. Y'all can't tweak me. Can't, can't tweak me. No. That's it. You should know. You should, you should know what you can and cannot say. Like, let's be clear. I see a lot of people in the comments saying rappers shouldn't go on Vlad TV. That's not true. Vlad. That's it. You should know. You should know what you can and cannot say. Like, let's be clear. I see a lot of people in the comments saying rappers shouldn't go on Vlad TV. That's not true. Vlad TV is one of the biggest platforms that you can promote your music on. If we want to keep it 100, it's one of the, it's not a music platform. Like, that's like saying Worldstar. Worldstar technically ain't just music. It's not a music platform. But you being on that stage, you being on that platform is a good, you know what I mean? It's like yelling from the top of a mountain. Yo, I'm rap platform. Like, that's like saying Worldstar. Worldstar technically ain't just music. It's not a music platform. But you being on that stage, you being on that platform is a good, you know what I mean? It's like yelling from the top of a mountain. Yo, I'm rather than the bottom of a mountain. So, platform, uh, Vlad is a decent pla uh, platform to be on to have conversations. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. It's crazy. Decent pla uh, platform to be on to have conversations. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. It's crazy. It's crazy. Where my fire starters at? God fear TV in the building. We about to flame another one up. Where my flamers at? Now. This nigga Vlad, this nigga Vlad, he a fuck boy, no homo, he a fuck nigga, for real, you see, first of all, Sue Surf. One of the greatest, traditionally ill battle rappers to date from Newark, New Jersey, home of the brave, hit hard or stay the fuck home. Yeah. Now, when Surf was on Vlad, Vlad ain't asked that man hardly shit about his music career, okay? All Vlad got into was asking personal questions about certain situations and circumstances. His, that interview was not based on Battle Rap or his album or his music or his talent. That Vlad interview is literally an hour and 34 fucking minutes. Okay? And literally, 70 minutes of the video, he's talking and asking Sue Surf about 
personal shit. Like the game culture. How old was he when he first got involved? Was it already started before you got involved? Questions you already know, nigga. Trying to trick people to fuck up. You see, everybody that go on this nigga platform go to jail. And these are big fucking facts. Everybody. Not only do they go to fucking jail. They catch big cases. They catch fair cases. Okay? They catch RICO cases. And I'm going to say this. Okay? Vlad should not be allowed in the culture. But you know who allows them in the culture? No offense, people that know better, people like this, Sue Surf, you knew the fuck better, regardless if you wanted to go on that platform and think that was going to boost your following with your career and your space for as the battle rap culture, bruh, if you would have seen and learned from experience, you ain't need Vlad at all. When you got somebody like this snake anyway, Y'all let him in the battle rap culture, and you don't even hear Drake saying free surf. That's the crazy part. Is he supposed to say free surf? Absolutely. These are people, okay? These ain't fucking dogs. These ain't fucking computers. These ain't machines, these people have feelings, but you know the fucked up part about it? You think motherfuckers, your peoples, this what they do. They transform on you. See that? Turn into a motherfucker. Insecticon on your ass. You did? Glad you exactly what he was doing. And Sue Sir, once Vlad started asking you, once he started coming out with the questions about gang history and all this and all that, and how I get started, where you from, nigga, you should be, bro, you should have just kept walking. You should have got up off this shit. Should have got up off this shit. Countless rappers that went down fucking with Vlad. Countless rappers, right? Now another one. A North native been a victim of Vlad. And the setup. Because that's exactly what the fuck it is. Okay? It's a conspiracy going on with these East Coast rappers slash game bangers it's been a big conspiracy going on with this for a while now for real because you got all these motherfuckers 
on the East Coast that's game bankers that's catching these Rico charges. But nobody on the West Coast, no rappers on the West Coast is catching no Rico charges. No type of rappers at all. Which I ain't being hypocritical, all right? This guy fear TV. I stand on real morals and motherfucking principles. I call it how the fuck I see it. And like I said, if it don't look right, it don't look right. All right? This side of the coast has been targeted. The East Coast has been targeted by the feds with this Rico shit, because if that's the case, you got Rowdy, Bobby Shmurda, Casanova, Young Thug, 6ix9ine, Sue Sir, Max B, YFN, Rallo, O Block, Hot Boy, Fetty Wap, ARN, just the name of few that was involved in RICO cases. In all court RICO cases, okay? If all these people court RICO cases, I don't see how the West Coast rappers ain't catching no RICO cases. It seems to me they picking and choosing and being hippa motherfucking critical. They being hypocrites about the shit because the gang culture out in LA is more, how can I say it, established, it's more normalized out there. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody on the West Coast should be getting Rico's too. All them game bangers that rap too. So I don't get it. All the ones that's in California. Especially. Snoop Dogg. Game. Because people, trust me. I done read this 51 page Rico indictment that they have on Sue Sir and the Rolling 60s. And some of these charges are fucking bogus. Not saying all of them are, but some of them shits on there is bogus. And I know for a fact that they got motherfuckers on the West Coast got the same shit in their phones that they claim to serve God in his. Now, what I'm going to say, and what I will say is, watch who you fuck with, man. Watch the people who you call your gang, man. Watch the people who you call your brothers or your sisters. Even in real life, got to even watch your real brothers and sisters. Because in this case, unfortunately, somebody in his own game ratted. Somebody stalled them out. And unfortunately, he was sadly mistaken when he said he could talk about a charge that he beat. Because unfortunately, that charge can be brought back up. Especially if your co defendant slash co conspirator catch a charge, it turns state. And this is exactly what happened here. The same homie he went to go spin on an op with must have got caught up in some shit. Later on, down the line, and actually turn state and flip. 
they told exactly what happened with the case that he beat. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, these motherfuckers don't give a fuck and that goes to show you. Gang banging ain't about nothing. A God fear exclusive. Sue Sir speaks. Like, I just wanted to, and I wanted to come to my, you know, my favorite adversary spot. You feel me? To do it, to show how much I f with the culture. I had seen a statement that said, if whoever's going through whatever they're going through, why they so calm? Why the tweet? Why the spaces? Why the. And I'm going to just say this, and this to my peers, my friends, anybody listening that don't tell me anything, it's like, whatever reality you got, you living in it. Like, own your reality, own your life, and own what the f you got going on, because it's really real life. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not hiding from nothing. I'm not running from nothing. I'm not, you get what I'm saying? My reality is my reality, though. Like, I look up at the ceiling every night, like... Verb, I, I never expected that conversation with you. I know it's left, but you feel me? I just felt like I was going to get it. So I'm going to catch a verb space. I wake up in the I'll be staring at the ceiling at 3 in the morning. I wake up and run to the bathroom and throw up. Not because I ate bad food, not because of, cause of the reality I, I, I'm living in. You get what I'm saying? Uh, like, you know, like, you a nigga will wake up and, like, be paralyzed and wake up and be, it's no different. It's no different, you feel me? This is my reality. But, like, the one place I'm not going to run from is the place I was raised at. That's why my reality is you might never see me on a stage ever again. Mm. But I'm not running from not, from home. From is the place I was raised at. That's why mm. my reality is you might never see me on a stage ever again. Mm. It's no different. You feel me? This is my reality. But like the one place I'm not going to run from is the place I was raised at. That's why mm. my reality is you might never see me on a stage ever again. Mm. But I'm not running from not, from home. If anybody could reach me, if I might have to pop up and it might be a boot page or it might be a, I'm around. And that's just me being 1,000. The best. And then even when it's like, even the times like when I didn't give nigga. Period. And that's reality, you feel me? Like, for all these years I've been battling, I've been trying to get niggas like, the best and then even when it's like even the times like when I didn't give niggas the best and you can understand like watch my career watch my culture even when I mean watch the culture even when I didn't give niggas the best oh that little nigga gotta go to jail tomorrow or oh, that little nigga fighting this or oh, that little nigga man just got shot or oh, that little nigga like it's never been a time like this is the most clearest my mind been in the last year and a half and you can see it with the quality of material I've been giving out because I've genuinely been changing but this culture helped me change, you feel me? I started about midnight madness. And even if I'm on the spaces arguing, talking shit, like, I just found a little more reasoning to help out. And you feel me? Shit like that, the bowl of what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? Where I'm supposed to be. Like, my, I was talking to my grandmother and shit. Like, she been calling me, praying with me and shit. And she say, only two days matter in this life. The day you born and the day you figure out why you born. Nothing else matters because when you die, you did. You know what I mean? And things, all the stuff that's in between, you just got to go through because that's how life is. You got to go through and you figure out why you born. Supposed to do. You know what I mean? Where I'm supposed to be. Like, my, I was talking to my grandmother and shit. Like, she been calling me, praying with me and shit. And she say, only two days matter in this life. The day you born and the day you figure out why you born. Nothing else matters because when you die, you did. You know what I mean? And things, all the stuff that's in between, you just got to go through because that's how life is. You got to go through shit. Only two days matter.